Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3 and my name is Jack, and this is the Ultimate Fusion 360 Tutorial Part 2. So I'll go right into the video. In the first part of this tutorial, we started to model this thing right here. So we learned how to make a sketch and extrude that into a three-dimensional object. So in part two of this series, I'm going to show you guys how to connect these two pieces here, how do you create holes through your parts, how to do chamfers and fillets, and how to create new sketches on other faces of different bodies. So happy right into it. This is where we left off in the first part of this video. We have this, th this circle with a box around it, but if you look inside, they're actually not connected, which is not good because if you go and 3D print this, they're not going to be connected. So to fix this, I'm going to show you how to create a sketch on one of the new faces we made in this in, in, in this 3D model. So say I wanted to make a new face right here on the top. I can click here, right click, and, and click create sketch. And now we're making a new sketch directly onto this face that I clicked. So now we're editing this face right here. So I want to extrude, say, this whole box right here through the bottom of our, of our model here so it connects this outer box and this inner circle. So I can go up here, create a two-point rectangle, and you can see here it snaps to the edge. Click and drag until I hit the other edge here. Click that, and now I have a box the size of our, our model here. So once I'm done with this tool, right-click, okay and i can stop this sketch up here in the corner and i can see here we have a a sketch with a big box over this entire plane right here so now i want to extrude that down so these two parts connect so again i can go up here into the top top menu click extrude and then it's going to tell me to pick a face so i'm going to pick this face here i can hold on shift and pick another face right here and now I'm going to extrude both of these faces at once. So you can see here that it's, it's pointing the arrow up. I can just drag it down. Or I can, I can go over here and open my extrude menu. And you can see I can either drag it down to go the other direction of the arrow. And I can just drag it down like that. And as you can see here, it, it'll either cut in. Or I can pull it out and it'll create an extrusion out from that plane. So I'm going to bring it up. Let's say just 5 millimeters is fine. I'm going to use the operation join so it'll create a new a new a new solid up here. I'll click okay and now they'll be joined together. And if we go underneath, we can see that now they're connected just like that. Another quick tip here, if you quickly wanted to see the dimension of one of these sides, we can go up here to the inspect, click measure tool. We can we can measure say from here to here. We can quickly see how big, how big that is. So you can see here it's 82 millimeters, which is pretty cool. We can right click, okay, to get out of that. So now we have both of our parts connected, which is really good. So say now I wanted to put two holes through here. There's this face going through the entire body right here. To make a hole correctly, you wanna create another new sketch. So right click, create a sketch on this face right here. And now I'm gonna create two points where I want the center of the holes to be. So up here we can go to sketch, we can click point, and right now I'm just going to randomly put two points in for now like that, right click OK. So now the, these points are going to be where the centers of my holes are, but I want to align these into the correct position. So again, I can go up here to sketch and click dimension, and I can actually click here click here and I can pick exactly where I want these points to be. So I can click there. Let's say 15 millimeters is good. Click enter. Now I'll go from this side to the point. Make it, let's, let's make that one 15 as well. So now it's, it's in the correct spot in this corner here. And again, I'll do the same thing for this side. Let's make it 15 millimeters and 15 millimeters again. So now both of our points are in the top corners of our of, of our sketch here. I'll right click and cancel. And now we have our two points aligned correctly. You can see that I can't move them anymore be because they're constrained properly. So now, so now I'm gonna stop the sketch. You can see here my two points. 
So now I want to create a hole from those two points on this face here. So I can go up here into create and go down to hole. And then you'll see here, it'll say hole face sketch points. And, and, and I can select them, and select the two points I want to create a hole from. You can see here, it automatically creates a hole from the point I made. So this is a little bit big. So I'm, I'm going to change the size to, let's say, let, let's make it five millimeters. And that's pretty good. So also, if I go around, I can see how far in these holes, these, these holes are going to go. So I can, I can either drag this in the entire way, or I can, I can pick over here how far I want it to go. But I'm just going to drag it all the way through until it comes out the other end. So I have holes going through the entire solid. Click OK. And now we have our two holes. If you go underneath, we can see the holes as well. It cut through the entire model. Cool. So now we have holes in our model. And now let's spice up our model a little bit more and make a more finished model. So we're, we're going to go up here to modify and create a fillet. Now fillets add rounded corners to all the parts of your of your model. So here I can say I can see it's type fillet. I can just go around and click all the corners that I want to be rounded. So I can click here, click here, click here. And now it's going to ask me what size I want the fillet to be. So let's start with two millimeters. Actually, let's make it a little bigger. So let's go five. So that's pretty good. So I can click OK. And now these corners are rounded and these edges. So another thing, just like fillets, is called chamfers. So you can go to modify and click on chamfer. And this is the same thing as a fillet, but instead of a curved edge, it'll be just a flat edge. So I can go over here and click right there on this edge, that edge, this edge. You can go around and get the back one too, just like that. And then we can click the change the distance. I'll make this 2.5 and we click OK. And I can see we have flat edges on our model. So now we have a joined model with holes going through it. We have chamfers and fillets around the box. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I know it's a little bit short, but I want to take everything nice and easy so everyone gets what we're doing. So this was part two of this of this series. I'm going to create some more videos as well. So if you do have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will answer every single one of them. Again, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I will see you guys in the next video.